A pentagonal pyramid, side of base 30 mm, axis 90 mm long is resting on its base on one of its base edges, parallel, nearer and 15 mm away from VP. It is cut by a plane passing through the center of the axis and one corner of the base which is on the extreme right. The cutting plane is perpendicular to VP. Draw the front view, sectional top view and what is the inclination of the section plane with the HP. Okay. So first draw the XY line. Mark X and Y. Now the question it is given that uh, pentagonal pyramid resting on HP. So in the top view, uh, you will have a pentagon and in the front view, you have a triangle. So one more condition is there. Uh, the side of the pentagon base should be parallel to uh, the XY line and 15 mm in front of VP. That is 15 mm in front of XY line. So you take 15 mm in front of XY line and draw the pentagon such a way that one of the base side is parallel to the XY line. The angle between adjacent side is 108. Land edges. Now give the names A, B, C. D, P. Now project it upwards. And the question is given that the height of the axis is ninety mm. So from XY line, take 90 mm and complete the figure. Okay, now the front view and top view is over. Uh, now you can mark the dimension. Thirty, and also height of the. Pyramid. Nine. So you can complete the names. This is O comma P. So A A dash B B dash C C dash. This is D dash. And this is E dash, here P dash, axis O dash. Now in the question, now the next thing is you have to uh, draw the cutting plane. Uh, but in the question, they not specified the angle of inclination of the cutting plane. Instead of that, they mentioned that 
the cutting plane is passing through the center of the axis and one corner of the base which is on the extreme right so this is the extreme right point c is the extreme right point now you uh, mark the midpoint of the axis that is total 90 so midpoint is uh, 45 so this is the point midpoint so the cutting plane should pass through this point and this point so i am passing the cutting plane through the mid midpoint and point c So this is V and this is T. So once you pass the cutting plane, cutting plane inclined to HP perpendicular to VP. So in the front view you can see a line which is inclined to the XY line. So now you have to mark the points, cutting points. So at uh, O dash, A dash there is a cutting point, I am marking it as 1 dash and then you go for OB OB it is 2 dash then OC 3 dash OD 4 dash and OE it is 5 dash then as usual project it so I am marking it here OA it is equal to 1 OB it is 2 OC it is 3 OD it is 4, OE it is 5. Now projectic downwards. So from the point 1, you projectic downwards, not to get the point here, O still OA, so this is 1. Now OB, when you project the point 2, it won't meet the line OB, so you have to draw the true length consider the true length so i am rotating see here also uh, none of the slant edges are parallel to xy line so i am rotating oa till it becomes parallel to the xy line then projecting it upwards in order to get the true length marking this point as a double dash and connecting to Dash. So O A double dash is the true length. So in order to get the point 2, extend 2 dash to the true length. Project it downwards till it meet that parallel line. So, and you can take this particular distance roughly it is 1.5 along OB so this is the point 2 now in order to get the point 3 point 3 is at the C dash point so this is when you project it onward this is the point 3 similarly point 4 project it downwards till it meets D OD that is 4 project uh, 5 downwards till it meet the slant edge OE so this is 5 now you join all the points 1 2 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 1. So this is the sectional top view. Hatch in order to show the sectional view. Add the figure 45 degree inclined.
okay okay hmm. now in order to get the two shape of the section you consider another plane parallel to the section plane uh, that is uh, x dash y dash and project from the point all cutting points 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash so now measure the distance from the point 1 to the x y line and mark correspondingly along the projection line of 1 similarly 2 this is 2 uh, 3 3 measure the distance for 4 and 4 and last one 5 it is along 5 then you join as from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 and then 1 so 1 2 3 4 and the point 5 now you can hatch in order to show the section as the figure So this is the final figure. Now in the question, they asked to find the inclination of the section plane uh, with the XY line. So using the protractor, we can measure the inclination. You can see it is, with the XY line it makes an angle of 60 degree. So you can write, final answer as theta is equal to 60 degree, six or 60 half of 1, 60, 61, make this. So this is the final solution of the given field. So problem.